Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to continue with chapter 3 and direct current circuit. So in this video, we are going to continue discuss on 3.5 resistor in series and parallel. Okay, so before we start discussion, let us see first what is the equations for resistor in series and parallel. Okay, so for series, meaning that the resistor is connected in series. Okay, so actually they are connected in one straight line. So the equations for the resistor V total is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Okay, and current total is equal to I1 equals to I2 equals to I3. Yeah? Because the current here is uh, connected in one wire. Okay, so the current that flowing through R1, R2, R3 are the same current. Okay, next is the R effective. Okay, so R effective for series is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, so this is the equation for series. If the resistor is connected in parallel, meaning that our R is connected straight away to the battery. So here I have R1, R2 and also R3 are connected parallel with the battery. So the equations for V is actually equal for V1 equals to V2 and equals to V3. Okay, because all the resistor is connected directly to the battery. Okay, however, current total is actually equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Huh? Because here there is a 3 junk. Okay, when the currents come up from the battery, it will split into I1, I2 and also I3. Okay, because we have 3 wire. So the total I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Okay, next is R effective. So since this is a parallel, so 1 over R effective will equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Okay, so these are the equations that we will use to solve the exam for example 9 and also example 10. Okay, so let us start. Okay, example 9. Okay, for the circuit in the figure above, calculate the effective resistance. Okay, so effective resistance meaning that we want to find what is the R total. So here I label it as R1, R2, and also R3. Okay, so usually we will try to simplify it. Okay, so the first step, what should we do is actually we will try to simplify R1 and R2 in series. Okay, so R12 is equal to R1 plus R2, where R1 is 4 ohm and R2 is 12 ohm. Therefore, we will get 16 ohm when we combine R1 and R2 in series. Okay, so after we combine, we will get this diagram. Okay, we will get this diagram where R12 here is equal to 16 ohm and R3 is still the same. Okay, it's still equal to 2 ohm. Okay, so after that, we will combine R1, 2 and 3 together parallel. So parallel equation is 1 over R1, 2, 3 equals to 1 over R2. 1, 2 is 16 plus 1 over 2. Okay, therefore, our R1, 2, 3 or we can say R effective is equal to 1.78 ohm. Okay, so this is the R effective or R total, okay? So next, we want to find the current passes through the 12 ohm resistor. So if you refer back 12 ohm resistor, meaning that we want to find the current that flows through or R total, okay? So next, we want to find the current passes through the 12 ohm resistor. So if you refer back 12 ohm resistor, meaning that we want to find the current that flows through, okay, the 12 ohm resistor. Okay, so if you refer back, the current when it comes from Okay, when the currents come out from the battery, when it comes to this junction, it will split to I1 and I2. Okay, so meaning that the total current when it's come out from here, from the battery, it will split okay, to I1, okay, which is I color it as a green color, and also I2, which is I color it as purple color. Okay, after that, when it comes to the junction here, it will combine back. Okay. So meaning that we want to find the current that flowing through 12 ohm is actually we want to find I1. Okay. So if similar for this case, this is the I total and it will split. Green color is I1 and the purple color is I2. Okay. After that, it will combine back and then go back to the battery. Okay. So the easiest way for us to find I1, meaning that the green color is uh, we can use this one, R12. Okay, so we know that R12 okay, is equal to 
16 ohm and the voltage across the R12 is actually equal to 8 volt. Nah? This is actually 8 volt. Okay, so we know that it's equal to 8 volt. So V equals to IR where V is 8 volt, I I is here we are referring to I1 and R here is actually R12 so it's equal to 16 ohm therefore I1 we will get 0.5 ampere okay so I1 here is actually it will flow through 4, rest, 4 ohm resistor and also we are flowing through 12 ohm resistor okay so this is the answer okay C find the potential difference across 4 ohm resistor so if we refer back to 4 ohm resistor okay so we want to find the what is the potential v1 uh, for 4 ohm resistor so just now we already found the value for i1 and then we have r1 uh. r1 is 4 ohm and i1 is 0 0.5 so we can calculate okay r1 is 4 ohm i1 just now we already get 0 0.5 ampere Okay, so V1 is equal to I1 R1. Therefore, we substitute inside 0 0.5 times 4, we will get 2 volt. Okay, so this is answer for example 9. Okay, next we will go to example 10. Okay, example 10 here is the combinations of parallel in series and also in parallel. Okay, so we want to find the effective resistance between point A and point B. Okay, so before we start with label first, this is R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5. Okay, so this is actually same current because they are connected in series. Okay, okay however, R3 are parallel with R1 and R2. Okay, so first step, what should we do is we will combine R1 and R2 in series first. Okay, so when you want to find series R series R series or R12 is equal to R1 plus R2 where 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 ohm okay so this one is equal to 10 ohm okay okay after that we will combine huh? we will combine this okay we will combine the purple color and also green color we will combine in parallel okay so next step we will try to combine this one parallelly okay so our r3 is 10 ohm so this is 10 ohm so r123 because it's parallel so it's 1 over r123 equals to 1 over r3 plus 1 over r12 okay so i substitute r3 is 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 therefore r123 is equal to 5 ohm Okay, so after we combine, okay, it will become R123. Okay, okay, next, what should we do is we will combine R4 and R123 in series. Okay, so R1234 is equal to R4 plus R123. Okay, where R4 here is equal to 20 ohm. 20 ohm, this is 20 ohm. Just now R123 is 5 ohm. So it's 20 plus 5. Therefore we will get 25 ohm. Okay? Okay. Okay. Next. After we combine R4 and R123, okay, we will continue with combine R5 and R1234 in parallel. Okay? So since it's parallel, so it's 1 over R12345 and it's equal to 1 over. Uh, this is actually after we combine this is 25 and r5 here is uh, 10 ohm eh? okay so this is equals to 10 ohm okay so it's 1 over r5 plus 1 over r1234 so 1 over r5 is 10 plus 1 over 25 okay so after you press calculator we will get r1234 is actually r effective okay so the final answer that we will get is equal to 7.14 ohm Okay, so this is the R effective for the circuit. Okay, so that's all for this video. We we'll continue with.